what's up youtube is the boy chasm key it's been a hot minute since i made a video and that's because i simply got uninspired but you know it happens that's all that's all in the past um we're back and ready to provide you guys with more videos based on some of my favorite and most anticipated games Speaking of, today's video is going to be all about Marvel's Avengers, which is due out in September. After it was supposed to initially launch back in May, Marvel's Avengers is back and in the spotlight after their recent War Table stream, which revealed plenty of new information. They showed off new gameplay, which I have on right now in the background, and while it still looks a little um, off, I'm, I'm still pretty hyped. What better way to show my hype? Than to give you guys insight on my top 10 characters that you know i'd wish they would add to the game now these aren't in any specific order so don't think i'm disrespecting any characters based on when i named them in this video i picked these characters based on three different things diversity power sets and factions so far we only know about shield and the inhumans and the inhumans are fairly new to this game well in this game's universe so who knows if you know the Fantastic Four or the X Men even exist in this universe. So most of these most of these characters on this list are to be expected because there are only so many characters on the Avengers team. I have not checked out any other YouTubers' lists, so again, expect to see many of the characters a lot of people are already saying. Um, I chose characters who I felt were both popular and would provide a unique way of playing the game. So now with all of that out of the way, here are my top 10 most wanted characters for Marvel's Avengers. First up on our list is actually a character the devs have teased themselves, Hawkeye. For those of you that know me, my favorite weapon is a bow. Shooting a bow in third person would be hella fun. Like, I can see Hawkeye's gameplay being a mix between Black Widow and possibly Iron Man. No. You have his trick arrows like the electric arrows, exploding arrows, ice arrows, etc. He's also skilled at hand-to-hand -hand combat, and I'm sure they find a way to mix the two. Like, you know, say he hits you like a punch and a kick, and then maybe he'll jump backwards and hit you with an ice arrow. Something like Marvel vs. Capcom. You know, if they can give him his sword, similar to when he was um, under the Ronin persona, then that would just be icing on the cake. I feel like he would play from any range, you know, like I said, he's good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, so he we have combos where he's up close, and then he can always play long range, just use arrows, you know, there's multiple ways you can probably build the character, I don't see him being tanky, he might be like more of an elusive character, but either way, I think he'd be a fun addition to the game. Now, moving on, the next character on my list is somebody that I really like too next to Hawkeye. He's not my favorite, but he's really high up there. The next character on my list is the Sorcerer Supreme himself, Dr. Stephen Strange. When it comes to magic, no one does it better. From the characters that have been announced so far, those being Black Widow, Hulk, Iron Man, Cap, Thor, and Kamala Khan, none of them embody magic. So I think he'd be a perfect addition. Uh, I see him playing multiple roles, given his magic abilities to conjure swords, shields, energy beams. He can even teleport and use protective fields. I feel like he can use his teleportation and protection fields to fulfill the support role. You know, if that's how you want to play or get up and close with the sword and shield. You know, given his ability to fly, he can dominate both the ground and the sky. Like, I think he'd be the most fun to play out of everyone. And he would probably have the best crowd control skills next to maybe the Hulk. That's enough about Stephen Strange. But let's not forget that he's not the only Avenger to use magic. No one creates more chaos than the chaos magic wielding Scarlet Witch. As I said, diversity was one of my rules. I do not want this game to be a sausage fest. Especially when we have so many powerful female heroes. I feel like Scarlet Witch will play mostly as a ranged character but she would have her own mechanics that made her unique, of course. You know, the more chaos she causes, the more, well, chaotic things get. Imagine that there's this mechanic where the more damage she does, the more powerful she can become. And I don't mean just raw attack power. 
Say that she's doing a bunch of offensive attacks. Maybe she'll start to passively chain her spells to other enemies. Imagine that she's buffing her teammates a lot and then suddenly she's passively giving teammates an overshield. You know, over time, she will become more useful in the role that she's taking part in. So not only are you playing for yourself, the Chaos Witch will passively help out her team as well. Now I've already gone through three out of the ten of my characters and you're probably wondering, what kind of list is this? Alright, no seriously, don't kill me. I can probably bet that everyone and their mother wants the king of Wakanda himself, Black Panther. What's there to say about Black Panther? I mean, he's fast, he's powerful, and he's a great fighter. But what would really make him unique? Well, I think he'd be an agile character. With panther-like movements, of course. I can see him jumping around the battlefield, you know, jumping from enemy to enemy. I can imagine traversal with him would be fun. He'd use his claws to cling on the walls and such. He'd probably be momentum based. Like once you start fighting, his flow will be able, able to like rush in, do damage and keep it moving. You know, maybe they can give him that kinetic blast like in the MCU or maybe his bodyguards can help him in the fight. You know, I don't have too many ideas on Black Panther, but he's way too popular to not have in this game. Now for this next character, I need to backpedal a bit. I'm not too sure how popular she is when it comes to casual fans, but if you are like me, which you probably aren't because I'm a loser, and you enjoy a good show named Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D., then you might know who I'm talking about. The Inhuman that works for S.H.I.E.L.D., Daisy Quake Johnson. For those of you who don't know, she has the ability to generate powerful waves of vibrations, which you can produce effects similar to earthquakes. She can basically target things and vibrate them apart. Like her namesake, Quake can cause earthquakes at will. Not only that, but she can whoop your ass. She can shoot vibrational waves to launch herself in the air and even stay afloat. She can basically fly, or at least hover. Since S.H.I.E.L.D. is in this game, I can only hope that she's in it too because she is a very strong female character for one and she has a really cool power. She she can shoot these waves off as projectiles. She can use them to defend herself. You know, there's a lot of ways she can apply her powers in her form of combat. Speaking of power, there is one Avenger that's incredibly powerful that I probably should have mentioned sooner. Um, Carol Danvers, AKA Captain Marvel. You can love her, you can hate her. She's still powerful as shit. But she's pretty generic. She has super strength, she can fly and shoot energy blasts. So how would I personally make her better? Obviously, give her her binary form. Binary form is basically her Super Saiyan form. She uses up all of her absorbed energy to power up exponentially. I can see her mechanics involving taking a lot of damage via an absorption skill. You know, absorb enough damage while this is active and boom. We have our Avengers Super Saiyan. I mean, if Kamala Khan is calling herself Miss Marvel, then Captain Marvel has to exist, right? I'm sure she does. But let's dial it back a bit. Not every character has to be a huge powerhouse. Let's get back to the basics. Another character I'd like to see is the homie Falcon. Not a lot of people give Falcon the respect he deserves. I for one can see plenty of gameplay opportunities with Red Wing and other gadgets he might have. His combat could focus on his aerial gameplay, like I imagine he could be shooting from a distance as he flies, similar to how Thor was doing in the demo. He can hover in place and shoot, or maybe he can just call in Red Wing for the assist. You know, whether Red Wing is a real bird or a robot drone really doesn't matter. If Falcon gets a drone, imagine the decoy tactics you can use. Say one of your teammates is getting destroyed, and Red Wing swoops in to take the aggro or possibly deploy like a carpet bomb with flashbangs. That's crazy. You know, just because you aren't powerful doesn't mean you aren't useful. Let's get another brother on this list. War Machine. I can't stress this enough. War Machine is better than Iron Man in every possible way. I think he would just be more of a tankier, more ag aggressive Iron Man. Most of his attacks will probably consist of area of effect attacks. You know, mostly explosions and missile strikes. He'd have an over the shoulder minigun that I'm sure a lot of people would love to have. I imagine he would play similarly to how the Colossus Javelins play an Anthem. 
if you were brave enough to play through that whole game as I did. There's not really much else I can add on to say besides, you know, he, he can fly and do pretty much everything Iron Man can. Now, character number nine has a special place in my heart because I don't see a lot of love for him in video games. Richard Ryder, a.k.a. Nova. Nova is a lot like the other characters in this list. He's powerful, but he's also a flyer that can shoot energy blasts. Like, I like his gameplay to be something like a charged battery. I want him to be able to build up his energy as he fights. And if he's not fighting, then let his energy decay over time. Once he's at max energy, then he's a powerhouse. I like some of his stronger abilities only be usable at max energy. You know, he probably play like how I described Captain Marvel. So if she doesn't get in, please substitute her for him. And that finally brings me to number 10. I honestly didn't think I'd make it this far because I'm pulling so much information out of my ass it's insane. I probably should have wrote like a script for this, but here we are. My final character is probably one of the most popular and dare I say iconic characters in Marvel history. And guess what? I'm not referring to Spider-Man. I'm sorry, but he has his own game. You know, I'm talking about the one and only Wolverine. That is right. Wolverine needed to be on this list because he is an absolute beast of a fighter. He's ferocious and he has plenty of years fighting. And he might just be our way of seeing more mutants in the future. As I said before, Inhumans are fairly new in this game's universe, so I wouldn't be surprised if they either introduce mutants via Wolverine or, you know, he sympathizes with the Inhumans and Professor X sends him to help the Avengers. His animal-like ferocity could translate very well into the game. With a rage meter, his attacks would become more visceral, his skills would change to be more lethal, you know, the more rage he generates. Taking damage would increase his rage faster than it would addition it out. You know, at max rage, his attacks will cause bleed damage, his attacks speed would increase. You know, imagine a smaller version of the Hulk, but just a lot faster. And with that, that's all for my list, you know. There are a couple of characters that didn't make the cut, but if you like the video, I can see myself making a video like, you know, um, other characters I like to see in Marvel's Avengers or something like that. You know, I miss making videos and I will definitely be back to make more in the near future as long as you guys want the content. You know, I do have a couple of ideas of videos I want to make. I do want to make more Kingdom Hearts videos. I do want to make more next gen videos. You know, just, just as I said before, I like making videos. So here I am. I'm back. I'm going to give you more videos. It might not be as fast as I used to be, but there will definitely be more videos. Um, I know I've said some of that stuff before, but I have a decent schedule now, and there are some games that I just can't wait for. You know, wink, wink, Miles Morales. Next gen is going to be extra hype, so I will be making more videos. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. See you.